Hello everyone welcome back to the chapter 13 of hematology that is reticulo endothelial system consider subscribing to my channel for more of medical lectures and health tips don't forget to hit the notification bell reticulo endothelial system let's begin it is a system of primitive cells which play an important role in the defense mechanism of the body so mainly it plays important role in the defense mechanism macrophage the term macrophage refers to a large cell which has the property of phagocytosis it is kind of engulfing the cell and destroying it so macrophage it is it mainly has the property of phagocytosis it is also called the large phagocytic cell the macrophage are of two types fixed reticulo endothelial cells and wandering reticulo endothelial cells so as these are said the fixed reticulo endothelial cells is also called as tissue macrophage the tissues are fixed hence it is fixed and wandering as the name suggests these are the free macrophages fixed reticular endothelial cell are present in connective tissue they are present in cns reticulum lungs endothelium of blood sinusoids these are some of the location where you can find the fixed reticular endothelial cells whereas wandering cells these are free histocytes of the blood and these free histocytes of the solid tissue these are wandering and they are free so let's sum up over here a uh, reticular endothelial system is important in defense mechanism here the macrophage is important it is a large cell which has property of phagocytosis and it is of two types fixed and wandering fixed are in tissues wandering are wandering freely into the lumens let's come to the functions of reticular endothelial system the first function is the very own property of its is phagocytic function macrophages are large phagocytic cell which play role in defense by phagocytosis now let's understand this once the foreign body invades like virus bacteria whatever invading organism it engulfs it and the macrophage it ingests it, it in them and it liberates the antigenic products these antigenic products these activate the t lymphocytes and the b lymphocytes in the blood which help in defense mechanism so basically the virus or whatever invading body is ingested and antigenic products are liberated and activation of lymphocytes is taken place now the lysosome is present in macrophage it is a proteolytic enzyme which digests the bacteria the lysosome has proteolytic enzyme now we come to the next function that is secretion of bactericidal agents here bactericidal means killing of bacterial properties superoxide hydrogen peroxide and hydroxyl ion these are some of the bactericidal agents which are secreted by macrophages these cells secrete this which kill the bacteria it secretes many other things such as secretion of interleukins these interleukin 1 it secretes interleukin 6 and 12 these all are the uh, interleukins which are secreted by macrophage now let's understand what are these for interleukin 1 it activates maturation and proliferation of lymphocytes and B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte whereas uh, interleukin 6 it helps in the growth of B lymphocyte and interleukin 12 it helps in the it influences the T helper cells so basically all these interleukin 1 6 and 12 which are secreted by the uh, macrophages these indirectly or directly help in the growth maturation development of the B and lymphocytes now next is the secretion of various other substances such as tumor necrotic factor it secretes both tumor necrotic factor alpha and beta 
which again help in the activation of immune system second is the secretion of uh, colony stimulating factor uh, it helps in growth of granulocytes monocytes etc platelet derived growth factor which accelerates the repair of damaged blood vessels and wound healing now we come finish the secretion now we come to the destruction it helps in the destruction of senile rbc senile means old rbc so in spleen particular in spleen it destroys and it also destroys the hemoglobin which is in whenever the senile rbc are broken hemoglobin is released lastly the hemopoietic function the these cells also play important role in the production of blood cells thank you for watching the video